Exios lets us create custom instances for API requests. Each instance is a separate client that can carry its own configuration and options like base URLs, timeouts, and headers. Then we can reuse the configuration for API calls using the same instance. In this video, let's learn how to create a custom instance using Exios. First, we need to install and import Exios into our project. For that, I'm opening terminal um, um, inside my project. I've already created a um, folder by the name custom instance. You can install Exios using a package manager like npm or yarn. I am using npm install Exios to install uh, Exios in this project. Once installed, the next step is to import it in your JavaScript file. Uh, for that, I'm creating a file by the name index.js and here I'm going to import Exios by const Exios is equal to require Exios. Let's save this file. A regular import or require of Exios in your file creates a default Exios instance but we need a custom instance to create one. We can use exios.create function that essentially creates a new instance. It accepts custom configuration as the parameter. Let's look at how it's done. Here you can specify things like headers, timeouts and more. This is one of the example uh, as you can see on your screens. For this video, I am going to use this famous quotes uh, API present on Rapid API Hub. You can use any of the APIs present on Rapid API Hub. To use this API, you need to sign up to your Rapid API account. I've already logged in as you can see in the top right corner. And here I'm getting my all the headers and parameters and even the URL that I'll be needing to call the API. Coming back to our VS Code editor in our index.js file, I've already uh, imported Exios. Uh, like I mentioned earlier that the second step is to create the custom instance for that uh, I'll be needing the base URL. I'm using the famous quotes API. So this is the URL for that. The timeout is 8,000. The headers are the uh, uh, application slash JSON, the uh, rapid API host and key. And here I'm going to add my rapid API key. For that, I'm going back to my API on rapid API hub. And this is my rapid API key. I'm going to copy that and paste it here. Next, now it is only a matter of creating API calls with our custom instance or client. The client's configurations will apply to all the calls. Let's do that and make an API call. That's how you do it. I have added the parameters, the category and count uh, that was needed for this API and console logging it. Let's save this file. To view the response, I am going to type node and the name of the file that's index.js inside my terminal. and here it is. That's how you do it. Similarly, you can also use uh, quotes client dot post instead of the quote uh, quotes client dot get for Exios post request and so on. You can also create separate clients for each API and manage your applications API calls in a better way.